Three Palestinians have been killed during a raid by Israeli forces in the occupied West Bank. Now, it happened in the Balata refugee camp on the outskirts of Nablus in the early hours of Monday. Ambulances were blocked from reaching the camp. The Palestinian Health Ministry says at least six people were injured. Let's speak to Nida Ibrahim, who's at the Balata refugee camp in the occupied West Bank. Uh, and Nida, just bring us up to speed on what we know actually happened overnight. Well, according to local sources here, they say that large numbers of Israeli soldiers have raided the refugee camp in one of the largest military operations that the people here say they've seen in years. Now, these soldiers came in, according to the Israeli army, they say that the goal of that raid is to find two wanted people, as well as finding a place that is being used to manufacture uh, explosives that could be used against Israeli targets. To get to that place, and remember, we are in a refugee camp that is crowded. It's the largest camp in the occupied West Bank. To get to that place, they had to bomb houses in order to be able to access it. We're talking about, you know, narrow allies, alleys. So it's hard for the Israeli forces to kind of maneuver here in the refugee camp. I'm going to show you a little bit of the damage they caused. We were earlier inside one of the places that were heavily hit. Sources are talking about dozens of houses that have been affected. But we've been uh, told by people here for security reasons to try and not go inside because these houses could uh, really fall apart any minute so it just this image gives you the scale of the damage the horrors that people here especially the residents who are living here who had no idea that their houses are going to be damaged are feeling what's the Palestinian Authority Authority saying about this Nida obviously they must be furious well, the Palestinian Authority has been issuing condemnations when it comes to the large military operations that take place in the occupied West Bank. Today, we had three Palestinians killed, but unfortunately, as many Palestinians would tell you, that this is becoming the new normal or the new abnormal, that they are facing large military operations, Israeli soldiers killing Palestinians. So the Palestinian Authority usually tells the world to hold Israel accountable. But as far as these people are telling us, those who lost their houses, those who lost their uh, relatives, they say that Israel only understands the language of force and it has already been uh, killing Palestinians uh, in a large scale we're talking about since last year uh, large numbers of Palestinians are being killed in these raids but really nothing is happening when it comes to holding Israel accountable. Ibrahim Forrest there on the outskirts of Nablus in the occupied West Bank. Thank you.